Go. Hi, I'm Steve Henson, the inventor of the three-headed deer decoy. People have asked me how I uh, came up with the idea for that, so I just want to review a little bit about decoys. This is a 3D decoy here. Uh, a lot of people use them with success. They just have a couple faults. First one being they're a little unnatural out in the field. They just look like a statue. The second problem with them, that's a lot of decoy to be carrying around with you each time you go out hunting. The next decoy that's being used a lot is a 2D decoy. Lighter weight, looks like a deer. Got two headed, two sides. The big problem with this is trying to decide how to set it up. Do you set it up like this today? Do you set it up like that? Because the biggest issue with this decoy is that when it's set up like this, or if a deer circles around and loses contact with this decoy, he loses interest. So we decided <clears throat> to go with a three headed decoy. These decoys here were used last year in the hunting season. Different sizes, different designs. We we're trying to get the one that fits the hunting situation the best. The all engaged deer. And as you can see, they follow you around. So after our research, we came up with this. This is the woodland. The difference between this one and last year's version is it's got legs. So we put legs on it. Nice compact. This decoy weighs about a pound. We're going to use an arrow. It's an old arrow to set it up with. Sticking it in the ground. With three legs. It's kind of a tripod so it sits there real nice. Just got the one little clip here, set it up, sits there real nice. So the advantage of this decoy is that when a deer comes in, this decoy is looking at him, no matter what direction. It engages the deer, we found that the deer come in maybe three, four yards away, stand and look at him like a bird dog. Uh, gets away from that locking up situation those 3D decoys have. We use a little bit different graphics. It's a good decoy. Let's have some uh, good luck with that. That's deerdecoy.org. Check it out.